How you doing, YouTube? This is Jimmy Boy in the South. Uh, coming at you again. Haven't been on here for a couple weeks, two, three weeks, or whatever. I've been uh, doing a lot of schoolwork and uh, just haven't really had the time. Plus, I haven't really gotten any boxes. So, but I did get one box. Um, actually, I got it the other day. Uh, I have a, an idea of what's in it because just because of the classes that I'm doing, but I have not opened it yet. I've actually been really hard pressed about opening this thing. So, um, and excited about opening it. I think I know what it is just because of the classes that, I, that I'm taking. A uh, new class started. It's uh, woodworking tools, I think, and it's heavy. So, it's probably uh, woodworking tools. Um, I don't know which ones. Anyway, uh, a couple different things. I uh, started growing, uh, Started growing my beard back out. I was shaving for a while, and I'm gonna grow it out for a little bit and uh, see how bushy and big I can get it, and then I'll cut it off again. So, uh, anyway, the course has been going good. Uh, it's actually a lot uh, different than what I thought. Um, there's a lot of work involved. So, uh, let's get to this box and let's check it out. Let's see here. That. There's that. I'm just opening. Oh no, there's one out of the bottom here. Alright. So, that out of the way. Ba -ba -ba. Alright, let's see what we got here. Another box inside of the box. This is shipping packing list, gun care kit, Grace USA 24 piece gun care kit, file set, uh, 12 piece precision needle, 12 piece file. Oh, a file set. Let me see. Is that what that is? Alright. So let's see. The first thing I'm pulling out is that's a 12 piece needle file. Precision needle 12 piece. Okay, so that's that. All right. So this is a cool. Oh, I got little handles on all that stuff. They're all a bunch of little files. You see that? Okay. This is pretty cool. I actually never ever had any files before. I've never had to use them. Um, I'm going to play with those a little later. Definitely going to play with those. I don't want to mess them up, but. So that's what that is. Okay. File set. All right, that's the first thing. Um, oh, there's it again. All right, what's this? Let's see. Get my drink out of the way here. Those are all the big files. Why do I need a big file like that? All right, paper. Oh, cool. Okay, for the cat. Cat can play. Oh, awesome. All right, so here are my brass punches. You can see those. Take a couple. Check these out. Oh, size, let me see, it goes from, what size is this? Uh, 1 16th up to a 5 16th. They're, they're heavy too. Nice brass. It's uh, Grace USA. What's this company? Central Forge. By Harbor Freight Tools. Hmm, Harbor Freight Tools. Oh, okay. All right, but these are, oh, is that the big one? It's a 5 16ths, it's a quarter. So I've got, let me see here. Let me 
get five sixteenths, a quarter, seven thirty second, five thirty second, an eighth, three thirty second, three sixteenths, and one sixteenths. Is that bigger? Yeah, that's bigger. Smaller, smaller. Okay, that was bigger. All right. So, from Grace USA, those are my brass punches. Cool. All right. Here are steel punches, and that looks like, well, that's not a... not a bullet pin punch. It's an actual straight pin punch. Yeah, see, it's not a... Oh, sure, it's way the camera. You can see that there. Yeah, it's not a bullet pin punch. It's not a bullet pin punch. I wonder if they... I wonder if they're in here. They have some in there. All right, so those are steel punches. Or those are the brass punches. These are the steel punches. And 716s. What are the different sizes on these bad boys? We got. Come here, booger. Alright, got. WN. I'm not sure about that. I have to look that up. Alright, so. Uh, 116s. Uh, 532nd. Uh, this, uh, WN, what is, one-eighth, oh, maybe that's, that's a C, it says CP8 on that one, but that's an eighth, this is 332nd, five, five sixty-fourths, and last but not least is a one-sixteenth, alright, so here's the, Steel punches. Okay. Cool. All right. I'm gonna have to. Uh... Oh, I've got a toolbox. What's this? Grace USA. An ad. It's like a little card thing. Ad thing. Those. These. Are those Grace? Yep, those are great to see also. Ha <laughs> ha! Pow! Then I've got a um, little brass hammer. There. Okay. It's got a nylon in. I wonder if this nylon in comes off. Some of them, some of them will come off, and you can replace them. I don't know. I do want to get a mallet that's got uh, the rubber on one side and the nylon on the other. Um, Sell them at like Lowe's and stuff. Um, and I want to get a little ball peen, about this size, a little ball peen also. Um, I want to use the brass for absolutely everything. I don't have to use it for absolutely everything. Uh, that's just so you don't gar up, um, gar up your work. Like if, if you got a you know, receiver or something, or 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 a slide that you're working on. You don't want to, you don't want to um, make any dents in it, or 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 you know, gouge it up or anything. Also with the nylon. So, but if you sit there and hit the pins with the nylon all the time, you're gonna you're gonna ground it. That nylon's gonna be chewed up. So, <laughs> awesome. So I, I definitely want to get a little ball peen hammer, and then I also want to get a, it's a combo with the uh, rubber and the Teflon or or uh, you know, plastic coated. So there's the ball peen, or that's not a ball peen. I'm sorry, that's my brass hammer. Uh, Grace USA again. Okay, let's see right here. Ah, screwdrivers. Okay, Grace USA. So here's some screwdrivers. All right, now they now uh, some stuff I was reading last night um, and the night before uh, starts talking about the tools 
and how they're shaped and how the you can't you know the the heads are shaped and you when you're doing gunsmithing what i've been learning is you can't just use any old screwdriver you can but but you're going to gar up the the um your little screws and stuff they're they're small but they're specific and when you buy a store-bought screwdriver it's tapered in um, on all sides. Uh, it comes down and basically it doesn't fit the screw. Um, the slot in the screw doesn't fit it properly. These are made so they do fit properly and they fit the entire length of a, of a screw. That's why there's different screwdrivers. They fit the entire length uh, and they're the width that they should be. So if they're not, you use a different screwdriver, uh, but they're the width. That way the pressure isn't on uh, just the top of the screw and that's how you know the screw starts to bend um, and and then it pops out and it and it and it strips it and strips the head um, but to uh, keep from doing that the heads need to be uh, have contact down in the down in the screw slot So these are more like a specialty tool, more like a specialty screwdriver. Um, but I w I'm actually looking uh, in the f here in the near future of getting a. Um, it's not Grace. It's uh, where I was looking. At? I think I was looking on Brown Brownells or Midway USA for a, an actual screwdriver set. It's a set. It's got a screwdriver. It's got all the different. Um, um, you know, pieces for the, you know, the tips, different screwdrivers, um, Phillips and, and standard, and, you know, um, and then your, your hex and your, your, your key and your hex. So, but cool, man, cool beans. So that different, different sizes of screwdrivers. Here's, here's the different sizes. Here's these. Okay. Do, do, do. All the way down to little. Little bitty one. There's a little bitty one. Okay. I learned a little hand thing by watching other YouTube videos. Okay, there's that. So what can I do here? I can put all these in here. Actually, I might use that paper again. Um, put them this way. Put all these in here. So what I need to do is I need to. I have. One toolbox that's got drawers. It's just a small, and it's got one, two, three, three or four drawers, and the top opens up. It's got a latch on it. Um, it's a standard toolbox, and I need to, I guess what I'm going to do is, um, eventually I'll get a, like a chest toolbox, um, like with the top and the bottom and the chest and stuff where I can have different drawers and for different things, you know, different tools, and um, you know, I'm, I'm going to be getting some more tools. So... Uh, that's going to be, you know, the count the tool setup, the big toolbox. But uh, eventually, I've been looking at them on, on like um, market places and kind of like a Craigslist type of thing. And uh, I mean, they're pretty expensive. So, uh, but eventually, in the future, that's what that's what I'm looking at getting. And set these up. Uh, and then I can put these and I can put the, that uh, that padding in the drawers and put these in there. But for now, I've got a uh, just a standard size uh, toolbox. I can put a little cushion, a little cushion um, uh, mat inside each drawer, and then put all these in there. So I don't want them like rustling around and, and hitting each other and, and messing my tools. I want to take care of my tools. So I'm gonna put these. These got some, some weight to them. I'll put these back in here, and I'll put this in here, and my mallet. I love this thing. Pow, 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 pow. That's awesome. <laughs> okay. Uh, what else we got? I'm just going to stick all this, since it's a little box, stick all this in there. Okay. There's that. What we got? Okay. Like I said, files. All right. Oh. And that's it. Empty box. All right. Put that there. This is uh, all those. Uh, 
punch, the punch set and everything in it. Okay. We got Pittsburgh 12 piece file and raft set. There it is. Right there. Bam. Okay, so you got all your different all your different styles of files. These are for I know these are for wood. I know these are for metal. But it says it says on here. So it's got a 10 inch a bastard two-way. Bastard two-way file, that's the big one. Then you got your uh, eight inch half round bastard file. That's that one, that next one. It's basically going from left to right, or right to left, however which way you're looking at it. Uh, eight inch mill saw file, right there. Um, a wood rasp, half, half round, eight inch half round wood rasp. Uh, eight inch file for rotary motor blades. What? Hmm, half round wood rasp. That's having a round wood rasp, eight inch round wood rasp. And then the, um, an eight inch file for rotary mower blades. I guess it just comes in the, comes in the, in the, in the deal here. So it's in there. Um, and then you've got uh shoe rasp, slim taper saw file, extra slim taper saw file, and a uh, round bastard saw file right here. Then you got handles. Okay, and I'm actually, I'm actually gonna open this up here. I'm gonna check this out. I might as well do it on here. Let's see how this works. That's yeah, rubber. Okay. All right, so this hole is round, and this hole is um, elongated. So, I guess, the round would go in the round, right? I would imagine so. But I don't know, that's not a real good fit. I don't know going this, because I mean that's got a slot in it. So let me see how far down that goes. Okay. There's no like clip or anything, so Probably just goes in there and and just fits snug. Okay. And of course, probably same thing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because this is a little bit bigger in size, so look like at that. And then I guess you turn it and whichever side you want, you're going to use. Oh, let's see here. <laughs> All right, let me see. I'm just take a gant, quick gander it. I don't really want them filed up against each other. Oh, that wasn't good. That didn't sound good. I, don't, I didn't like that. All right, this is like the typical bastard two-way file. This is like the typical file everybody sees right here. Everybody's used to. Now one of these big old, big old files here. I mean, it's got like the crossed, the cross back and forth, that, and then this other one. But basically, they're just gonna. Man, that's freaking. All right, so it's on there. And the biggest thing, uh, reason why, I mean, it comes with a handle, but the reason why you wanna use the handle is so if you get the filing. All right, you're filing away, and you hit, and it sticks for a second. You don't stick that into your hand. So it allows you to have more control over the file with a handle, and then you can file. Okay? That's just like file 101, and I'm not a file guy. I, I don't even, I mean, I've seen those, and uh, my dad's had them, and uh, Sharpen a couple lawnmower blades with them, and that's about it. Other than that, mm, I don't really, I'm not a, you know, never really had the need to file a bunch of stuff, so 
I'm going to put this kind of stuff kind of back in here a little bit. Kind of, sort of, as much as I can. There's a man. So that goes here. That. That. And that. All right. So basically, with that. All right. And I think I'm going to try to. Together. Huh. I wonder if I can. I don't want that stuff going all over the place. I'm just gonna set it off to the side for a minute for now. And then I will put that stuff away in a little bit. Okay? And then I'll just give you a quick brief uh, you know, been uh, been doing this course. Um it's actually a time consumer, it, it takes up a lot of time. Um, writing, you got, you got the, the, like, discussions to write, your assignments, uh, um, quiz every week, um, and then, uh, we had the, uh, midterms last, this last week, um, now we're going into this new week, it's, um, went from taking two courses at once to, uh, three, and I got three, two classes, uh, and then now, now it's up to three classes, so there's three classes, uh, one of the classes is the tools, um, tools and woodworking or what I think tools and woodworking I believe I have to look at it again but I know it's tools um, and it starts talking about the tools and and uh, um, like breaking down the, breaking down you know firearms and stuff like that like assembly disassembly um, you know and I'm, I'm pretty good with that kind of stuff it's pretty pretty cut and dry to me uh, so uh, it's when you get past the field stripping and you start taking out all the little pins and all those little springs and stuff like that so when you really gotta pay attention and uh now that's something that i'm not really used to and i'm and i'm gonna i was reading you know late last night and 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 i was watching some youtube videos on uh, assembly disassembly a couple different couple different uh firearms a couple different systems and and it got really in depth like it took absolutely everything uh apart um, and, uh, I'll be doing my lab work is going to be, I, I own an XDS 45, so that's going to be my lab work. And I watched the video that last night and it kind of scares me of taking my gun all the way down to the plastic, to nothing, uh, and having everything laid out. So, um, that's going to be interesting. And, <laughs> and, uh, I'll get it back together though. It'll be interesting, but I'll get it, I'll get it back together. Not a problem. So. All right, uh, I think I'm going to get out of here for now, and that's the next box that I got, and uh, the course is going good. Um, it's pretty tedious and, and time-consuming, and it's a lot more than I actually anticipated, uh, but it's pretty cool, and it shows you how much you don't know. <laughs> um, you know what you, uh, maybe what you got, uh, you know what maybe you've had or worked with or whatever. Um, but this course is really showing showing me, and you know, it'll. I I think it probably show anybody what they don't know, um, everything that they thought they knew, and that they really don't know. Um, uh, just how in depth it goes, and you know, showing you everything that you know. You know, there's some things I know that I don't know about, and it's pretty cool learning about them. Um, and then the history part of it, uh, the history of firearms, is 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 really. Uh, uh, entices me because I'm I love history so it shows you that all those stuff all those things that you know you don't know but then it also shows you things that you thought you knew that you don't know um, so anyway I'm gonna get out of here for now uh, it's been fun been real and uh, I'll see you next time all right later <laughs>